Tensions are escalating in the Middle East as U.S. airstrikes hit more militant targets and the war between Israel and Hamas shows no signs of winding down. CBS's Tina Cross has the latest. Anger spilled onto the streets in Yemen's capital city Wednesday. With protesters calling for revenge after more U.S. airstrikes hit their country. Overnight bombing raids against both Houthi targets in Yemen and Iranian-backed militias in Iraq follow U.S.-led bombing raids the night before. Defense officials say the strikes are retaliation for more than 150 attacks aimed at U.S. forces throughout the region since the war in Gaza began. A war Israeli leaders say will not stop until Hamas is wiped out. Should Hamas turn in those responsible for October 7th and should Hamas release all the hostages, this war would be over immediately. The southern Gazan city of Khan Yunus has become the focus of the fight with Hamas. As Palestinians buried victims during breaks in the battle, the UN called for a ceasefire, warning thousands of civilians taking shelter in the area are trapped. Nothing can justify the collective punishment of the Palestinian people. In Israel, demonstrators are repeating demands for a ceasefire deal to free the hostages. We are asking to release the men, women, elderly, kids. Mediators in the region are trying to broker an agreement, but say the gap between both sides is still too wide. Tina Kraus, CBS News, London. Gaza's health ministry, which is controlled by Hamas terrorists, say the death toll since the start of the war is approaching 26,000, with more than 200 Palestinians killed in the past day.